Now to the historic launch of SpaceX's Inspiration4 rocket. It's the first all-civilian mission into orbit. On board, billionaire businessman Jared Isaacman, who purchased all the seats for $200 million. So who are the lucky few? An Air Force veteran, a geoscience professor, and a healthcare worker who survived childhood cancer. These are live pictures right now. The crew boarding right now. And if all goes to plan, they will take off tonight, shooting into orbit in the Dragon capsule 366 miles away from Earth, the farthest any private citizen has ever gone before. They've been extensively trained by SpaceX, but there will be no professional astronauts on board. We set out from the start to to deliver a very inspiring message, uh, certainly, you know, what can be done up in, in space and the possibilities there, but also uh, what we can accomplish here on Earth. Instead of humans, a computer does the flying. I'm just a regular person going to space. 29-year-old Haley Arsenault making history as the first pediatric cancer survivor in space. And until now, um, astronauts have really had to be physically perfect. And so I'm so excited that this mission is opening space travel up to everyone. But there are some real risks. The team will orbit the Earth for three days. There's no way to get to the International Space Station if there's an issue. And even if it could, there's no way to dock. The necessary mechanism was replaced with a cupola or a window to see the Earth. When we get to reveal the cupola for the first time will be a, a really big moment, I think. Um, because that view, you know, we're all excited about it. Along with scoping out the views, the crew will also conduct some science experiments into how space travel impacts humans. And back to those live pictures of the crew getting situated situated ahead of launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. You know, they've got to be pretty excited right now. Bill. Or nervous. <laughs> or nervous. The crew will splash down on Saturday, and we're streaming this feed now on our website, ABC7NY, so go check it out.